this is a bit of a recap on the right angle trigonometry we did last year. Uh, feel free to not watch this if you feel like you're uh, okay with this stuff already and you remember it from last year, uh, but if you need a bit of a refresher, here it is. We started on a right angled triangle, so there's our right angle, and we were interested in using one of the other angles, which I'll call theta there, to relate pairs of sides. So we had to give them names first. Um, the hypotenuse, of course, was the one opposite the right angle. That's how you locate it. Then there was the one we called the opposite, which is opposite the angle we're looking at. That's the theta there. And the last one we called the adjacent, uh, which just means next to. So that's the one next to the angle. Right. And then we had these three guys. Uh, sine, cos, and tan. So uh, sine, cos, and tan are not numbers. They are like machines that um, have to take in the angle. Right? So we have to give sine, cos, and tan the angle theta. And what it'll give back to us is um, a pair of the, the sides divided. So a ratio of sides, if you will. Okay, so sine theta gives you the opposite over hypotenuse, cos theta gives you adjacent over hypotenuse, and tan theta gives you opposite over adjacent. You might want to write this down somewhere in your book if you might forget. Okay, give you a few quick examples from your book and then um, it will be your turn. So um, altitude of an aeroplane is 500 meters angle of elevation, which just means the angle going up from the horizontal. From the runway to the aeroplane is 15 degrees. Find the horizontal distance from the aeroplane to the runway. So that's the uh, distance marks with the question mark. Okay. So the first thing we do, if you look at the picture, is to locate the hypotenuse opposite and adjacent. So I call those just H, O, and A. Okay, so uh, H is opposite the right angle, O is opposite the 15 degree angle, and A is the remaining one. Uh, we're going to be using the 500 meters to find the unknown we're looking for. Okay, and so we're going to use the O and the A, uh, and so tan is what gives you that. And so tan takes the 15 degree angle, it gives you the opposite over adjacent, which is 500 over the unknown. Okay, and we do a little trick here where we remember there's a bit of symmetry in division. Um, I always use the example um, that 10 divided by 2 is 5, 10 divided by 5 is 2. There's a bit of symmetry to division. And so that just means you can swap these two, okay? Like how the two and five in the bracket can can swap, All right? And so that means that the unknown we're looking for, the question mark, equals five hundred over ten fifteen. Chuck that in your calculator. We want to the nearest centimeter, so that's two decimal places. So that's going to be eighteen six six point oh three meters. Okay. Okay, question two, I think this is. Cable of length 45 meters is anchored from the ground to the top of a communication mast. Um, there we have the, again the angle of elevation of the cable to the top of the mast is 60 degrees. I want the height of the mast. So once again, we label our sides H, A, and O. Um, and this time we want to find the opposite by using the hypotenuse. Okay, so see how the adjacent is irrelevant there. We're not, uh, we don't know it, and we're not trying to find it. Um, and so this time we want to use the O and the H. So that's a sine. Okay, because sine takes the angle, the sixty degrees, and gives you the opposite, which is question mark over hypotenuse, which is forty-five. And now with this one, we're just sorry. This one we're just going to multiply both sides by forty-five. Um, and so we're going to get that the one we're looking for just equals 45 times sine 60. And that's about 39 meters to the nearest meter. All right, last one I'll do. Uh, find the angle of depression. That just means um, angle down from horizontal, as marked in the picture. From the top of a lighthouse beacon that is 112 meters above sea level to a boat that is a distance of 1.5 kilometers from the lighthouse. Uh, and so the first thing I would do here, uh, see how the question mark isn't really in the triangle. So um, I tend to like using alternate angles to say that the question mark that I've put in there is equal. 
All right, so it forms a little zigzaggy shape with the parallel lines because both the red dashed line, uh, because the red dashed line is horizontal. Okay, um, you could find the sort of um, the kind of uh, angle inside here if you want, and then subtract it from ninety degrees. But I prefer just using alternate angles. Okay, so there's my blue question mark there. Uh, with that uh, angle in mind, there's my hypotenuse opposite and adjacent. This time I'm using the opposite, the 112, and the adjacent, the 1.5 kilometers. Just be careful for units. So O and A, that's a tan. Tan takes the angle. So this time tan is taking the question mark. Tan's taking the unknown. What it gives us is opposite over adjacent. That's 112 over um, 1,500 if I want to keep the units consistent. And so to undo the tan, or to do the reverse tan, I have to do a tan inverse. Uh, on a calculator, I get that tan minus 1 thing by going shift tan. Okay, so I type in shift tan 112 over 1,500 on my calculator and I get 4.27 something 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 degrees. Now it does say to round your answer to the nearest minute um, and there should be a button that looks a bit like this on your calculator. You press that button and it tells you it's about 4 degrees and 16 minutes. Okay and so that's how you find an angle. You do the same thing to start with then you do a reverse or inverse tan by pressing shift tan or sign or cos or whatever you want. Okay, sorry I can't be with you today. Hopefully, um, see you soon. Bye.